Um, so, do you know what you're doing? Yeah. Have you discussed yet? Oh, I got you kind of an idea of what I'm doing. Okay, what's that? For the last time, Zach, talk your certain. Go oh, I liked how you had your hands behind your back when you yeah. said it. But that was something formal. different. Good, yeah, good. Okay, what are you going? In any form of theatre, characterization is one of the most vital aspects to a great performance. Building a strong foundation is the mission of the assistant director. My role kind of evolved, I suppose, over time. So I started off directing some of the students with their action and their movement and their characterization um, with my drama background. And then it kind of evolved to this backstage props manager and overseeing the costumes as well. You need to remain focused, please. So if you're still on stage over here, you're still in character. Do not drop focus until you leave. So uh, the character development workshop, we really wanted the students to start embodying the four character groups. And I guess we just wanted to start getting students used to um, taking on those characters in, in those environments, especially for students taking on adult roles. Um, that can be quite challenging. Cliff, darling, we're going to get our nails done. No, little Indiana Louise Isabel Summer Rain Grace did not get good enough grades for this. Oh, well, please, Daddy, I'll do better next time. Come on, hand over the cards. If you insist, darling. <laughs> I just love that group of three. That was so funny. Okay. Can we come back into the circle? That's our, us finished um, for this part of the afternoon. Just a really brief reflection on our um, character building today. We do have to project our expression and our body language enough for our audience to engage with us, but it still needs to remain realistic. Yeah, yeah. Performing in front of a live audience at the Civic Centre mm -hmm. seems like a big step up from back in grade eight, uh, from when we first started. Oh, uh, gross. We will rock you. Oh, don't even. See, that was, that was my first drum performance. What was that? Was that in music <gasps> class? Was that an actual? No, we did the 789 concert. Oh, we that's right. Yeah, that and it, was the... it was in front of an actual audience, an actual oh. audience, and you played one of the most I think it sounded good. It did not. Yeah, you think it sounded good. You always think it sounds good. Yeah, well... You, you just say jazz. It doesn't always sound good. <laughs> jazz. That sounded jazz. good. Jazz. That did not sound good. It sounded right. But I feel like coming from band to the cast was a big step. Yeah, well, this is the first time you've been in the yeah, cast, right? Yeah. Imagine. It's actually, it's nice that like we're the grade 12s now. Yeah. And we can like... We can like not Con lower over not it. control them. Not but like, but like we can we can show them like what's up and like you say things like like you know who are you, what's your character doing right now? You're on stage. You need to be engaged. Like those things. Like we can just give them little hints, which is nice to be able to do that because I reckon this is I've had like the roles that I have now are smaller. I've got more of them, but they're smaller than any of the roles that I've ever had before. But I feel like I'm more involved in this musical than ever before. They're actually kind of engaging us more in the actual like theatrical process, which is really cool. And I really do enjoy that. Us being able to do all this, like it makes the musical mean more. Yep. I think like us being able to help out in other areas and like help um, the teachers and help kind of yep. lead and run the whole thing. Not only way. does it like help out, it sort of builds relationship as well. Yeah. And it gave that sense of community. I reckon this cast is probably the closest I've ever been yeah. with a cast. I think we're a lot closer and a lot um, more tight-knit and a lot 
Um, I think there's a lot more synergy between the cast members now than in like other musicals. And I think that we've been able to help create that, which is pretty cool. Being surrounded by others that share a similar passion for the arts not only opens up the students to be successful in their field, but can often lead to bonds that last a lifetime. They develop a sense of friendship among um, not only the girls, but the boys. They create these relationships through music and they're really good memories that they will carry with them for the rest of their lives. What's drawn me to the arts profession was the good experiences that I had as a student at my own school and just this sense of building community with people outside of the everyday classroom setting as well on extracurricular productions. I really just think that if I treat everyone as friends, then we have a really good time and we enjoy our experience more um, during our, the process leading up to our opening night. Yeah, I, under, I understand. Francis. I don't know why she wouldn't just materialise. <laughs> For me, in my time here, I would, you know, every musical that we did, we would come out and we would, there would be this feeling of that we had found our tribe or we had found a friendship group and that would kind of you know for me in particular that lasted throughout all of my high school years so I would hope that there were some really strong friendships and relationships that were built throughout the process and that everyone had a lot of fun and maybe did something that they didn't think that they were capable of doing or stepped outside of their comfort zone in some way that would be my hope for the, for the students. <laughs> So the, the costume process started with me going through the performing arts um, storage room and just seeing what was left there from previous musicals and just getting excited about different options that we could use. Um, so that's kind of what inspired me to, to start with. But then just having conversations with individual kids, like a lot of the kids had their own ideas for their role. So just kind of guiding their own ideas and making suggestions based on that, but also doing a bit of research on the original production and just seeing what um, you know the Broadway version did for the musical and kind of collating all of those ideas into a bit of a mood board. I put that together um, for each of the character groups, a little mood board that each kid could take home and pick and choose what they wanted. And yeah, it's just a lot of check-ins back and forth to see how they were progressing with ideas. Come on out, guys. How are we comfortable? Like, how comfortable are we with um, movement, dance, uh, choreography, what's your experience? I try. I try. <laughs> Comfortability out of one to ten, ten being uh, incredibly comfortable, one being not at all get me out of this room immediately. Probably seven or eight. Seven or eight, so pretty comfy. Pretty comfy, cosy. Similar? Yeah, I'm about similar. Oh, as well. great, awesome, fantastic. All right, my job entails taking the vision of the director, Tim, and uh, creating that in a physical way that helps tell the story through movement as well as uh, intention. But the thing is, what I care about more than I do you guys smashing the routine and making everything crisp and brilliant is your characterization within the movements. If you can sell whatever I'm giving to you, I'm happy. I don't, I don't need it to be perfect. I don't need you to be prima ballerinas. I just need you to be able to believe in your characters, which from what I've heard from Tim, you guys 
are nailing it. So great. So today we took a two songs and we created uh, a little bit of a structure for the actors uh, and we gave them movements that accompany the lyrics and the uh, words um, and physicalize them so that they uh, could uh, portray them in a more convincing manner. Hey, do you reckon you could get your legs out a little further? Like, I like this one, that's cute. But could you do like a real, like a real rocker? All right, right, let's have a look at as this As best one. as possible. Remember, he doesn't have to be cool. Yeah. He just look, He just wants to try like he's I can cool. promise you this will not look cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for it. one thing I can So promise. stalk forward, yeah. stalk forward using the momentum and... Yes, that's yes, perfect. That did look cool. That looks really yeah. cool. Uh, come on, I you're really a really need to <laughs> do something then. Choreography is a lot of repetition and it's a lot of work to make sure you are able to physically do what you need to do for these characters. The main point of focus within these dance breaks was that we had to be in sync. We had to be totally together in what we were doing so that it was a very crisp feeling. Having that connection with Noah made it very easy to get through the choreography so that we were able to go and recover from that to work on the next session. Um, but that's really great work. I'm very impressed with you both. Um, and yeah, we, we, this is why we're very lucky to have someone like Ellen with us because it makes a big difference. Awesome, so we'll clap out, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> 